Lena is with us in Tucson, Arizona. Hi, Lena. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Better than I deserve. What's up? I am a little bit at odds with my husband. My husband has been bit by the solar bug. <laughs> the solar bug? I didn't know that was a bug. Are those loose in Arizona? <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, no, he is determined to get us to get solar, and I disagree, as it would result in a loan because we don't have the finances to do it outright. Mm. And your question is what? How do I convince them it's a bad idea? <laughs> well, why do you think it's a bad idea? It, it, uh, it, it bothers me. The whole idea of having a loan just creates more financial pressure, and I feel like stress. And I'm the one that does all the books. <laughs> yeah. So um, it, it is, I, I believe in solar panels. I endorse solar mm -hmm. panel companies in yeah. several of our 600 markets that this show airs in. And mm -hmm. uh, I am not against solar at all. As a matter of fact, the solar technology is greatly advanced over what it was uh, 10 or 15 years ago. And so the quality of it, it's like batteries uh, in these the battery-operated cars. You know, the whole thing's different than it was a few years ago. The batteries wouldn't last 10 minutes. Now they last, you know, for 300 miles. Same thing's true in solar. The efficiency has gone way up. So they're excellent products. There is not an excellent product on the planet that I will tell you to buy with debt. Mm -hmm. Bad idea. Well, wait a minute, it pays for itself. Yeah, over five years, during which time the solar panels become worth zero. They do not add value to your home. There's no market study that shows they add value to the home equal to their cost. So the only way you make your money back is on savings on utilities. And if you've got a five-year or less break-even period, that's a pretty sweet break-even period on solar. And the yeah, only yeah. way you invest in something with a five-year break-even period is with cash. Yeah, his biggest argument is that we'd be trading our $400 electric bill for a $150 loan. No, that's not true is the problem because the value of the stinking things is going down. You sell the house. The loan is screwing up your house sale. You've got a mess on your hands. He's only thinking about this month. He's not looking at the overall picture. It's a very okay. bad analysis that leads people to finance solar panels. Okay. Don't, don't do it. I, I agree with you. I wouldn't do it. Anything you want to add? or No, I mean, the, the biggest thing here is, I, I, I don't know how much debt you guys have, Lena, but I want you guys to realize that debt freedom is just a lifestyle that you're going to live, and that means we're going to figure out a way to pay for this thing in cash. Now, I mean a sinking fund for six months that we put this money towards in order to pay for that in cash. That's the only way I want you to get these solar panels.